Hi guys, I'm Matt Sifali and you're watching Fijao video. Today I created this cool material in Unreal Engine and this tutorial is step by step so you will learn each and every node everything what I did in this. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I will make a material for this mesh. So I click make a material and effects and I will make a instance of it and just apply that on it. So in this tutorial I will show you lots of things you can do with material. Uh, random thing. Let me make some space here. Darker. Like this is one. And I think my post process is on, so let me check that. So in the previous setting, post process is on. I'll just turn this off. We have this cube, and the UVs of this cube is like if you if you apply a texture, it will reflect all the sides. So if I take this like logo. My logo and connect it here. This single logo will be it will reflect all the sides. Okay, so if you don't want that, you need to play with the UVs, right? So let's work on it. So first thing, uh, how to separate the edges? Uh, so we can have different color for the edges. First, I will make this material uh unlit basically i'm making it like a magical effects thing so it's on unlit i'll just work on the msc now we have to take out the edges so if i take the texture coordinate and preview this like any channel i take red channel in case so it's a gradient and if you want that to repeat on both sides like on the top this is black from here i want also black from here so you can use sign and then make the sign too. So if I now preview the sign, as you can see what's happening. Okay. And then you have to do the same thing with the green channel. Now you have this. Now if you multiply both together. You will have these edges separate. Okay. Now you can use power and lots of things to use. So let's say now you can use, let's saturate it first. You can use a LUR. And I want edges to be different color from the rest of my mesh. So what I can do because edges are black. So that means on the A, I put edges color, which is cyan in this case. And for the white part, I will take the little purplish color. I preview. Now you can see. And now to control it, what I'll do, I'll take the smooth step here and make some parameters. So this is my minimum and this is my maximum. And I will add minimum maximum. So maximum will always be higher than minimum. And then I'll use it here and let's make the default value 0 and 1. I will save it and we will check it in the instance material. So I'll just save. Now you can see here in the instance. I'll show you. If I increase this, or if I uh, if this is 0 and I decrease this, it's making this sharper like this. And we can make this like this. So now we have this control okay. and if you don't want this uh, like these corners to be like this you can also work on it so instead of this uh, multiply what you can do uh, i think you let me check i think you have to take the minimum yeah now you can see now i'll use the saturate so i'll just delete that multiply and i'll hit save Let's check in the instance now. Now you can see and make this like this. Cool. And because I have scaled it, so this part is little wider. So I will scale it little up like this. Okay. So now you got the edge, and even the edge, if you want, upper edge should be cyan and the bottom edge should be yellow. You can also do that. Because this is the edge color, we we know that. Okay. We just want to divide it with a uh, height. So what I can take, I can take this bound. 
this it will give you the xyz gradient without uh, uh, like taking the uvs so without uvs you can use this even your uvs is not proper so if i take this and i just showcase this is how it looks and now for this blue you can use lurk and connect this so in the bottom i want yellow and in the top i want this blue so this is my blue and for the bottom i want yellow and then i will connect so first you have to preview this to check it's working now you can just connect it here now you can see it's working did i save i didn't save now you can see so now you know how to work on these things how to get the edges how to differentiate in these edges now for the center part what you can do you can take any magical texture or anything you have let's say i take this texture aura which is my one of favorite texture i use almost in any tech any tutorial and if i preview this how it looks and just for the contrast i will use power maybe three or four with this from here this is how it looks now i want to like make it like twill i want to like uh, make a spiral kind of thing so what you can use if you take custom rotator which rotate the texture if i use texture coordinate here and i have to tell the center which is 0.5 on the both axis and then here if i add the time it will keep rotating it okay instead of time if you take the radial that radial is like this so we have black on the edge white on the here and you can also use lower density so it will be little more faded and then you can use this here so let me show you how it will make your texture twill like this look cool you can decide how much so you can just multiply with it but i like it so what i'll do with this purple i will multiply this so my base is now with this noise texture like this okay let me also set the default value what i have in the instance so minimum is this and maximum is 0.224 now here so it will be same now i want this purple to be different color from the center a different color from the edge so for that what i can do this is purple so i want it uh, let's say you have this radial so you can use again a lurk and if i preview i want on the edge something like blue so i'll take the blue color and this darker and this will go for my edge which is black and for rest of thing i'll need purple and then finally i want to add little oranges color on here on the edge of this so what i'll do i'll use one more power to make it little more thinner this is four so i will use six maybe and i'll saturate it also then i'll multiply it with the color i want let's say uh, purple uh, orange but little brighter and then i will add it on this hole my base the basic concept should be clear then you will just keep adding your notes and doing things so you see uh, we have some here so basically i am adding this thing let me preview it what are we are adding so this is all yellow i want it just from the center so let me just make some space here so i'll again take a radial 
and before adding it i will multiply it with a radial so it will make sure that this orange color is just here and even you can reduce the size of your radial a 0.3 and make it little faded maybe one let me see how it looks then we will add it yeah now it looks cool now we can add it see now you can see this looks cool now if you want to add something like glittering thing in, on it let me say also all the thing you can ta take a texture uh, like this let me show you i have this texture which has some dots and has rgb different kind of so i can just take one and i can just add this on this so i will use this multiply this here and then add this thing so basically i will have this i will have that spiral and that star then i can multiply these with the color so i will have the those colors star and this then i can add and you can also add some panel on the stars if you want like i had like one so this is very like kind of easy thing you can do and if your stars spanning all same direction you can randomize it let me show you how type here chaos go inside this node and copy this motion for yours copy close this delete this and paste it here copy your texture here right click make this object connect this here sorry in the texture and then take this i'll take the single channel i don't want all the channels and if i preview first this three stars just randomly moving so now instead of that star i can use this we can delete this let me save again now you can see and if your stars you want only on the edge what you can do these are my stars and this was radial i can just take a radial invert this so i want just on the edge so i'm inverting it and then multiply it with your stars then add it first let me preview it and still uh, not very on the edge so i will take the power make this maybe 3 connect this here now see it's all on the edge like this cool and this thing you can also change the texture tiling maybe 2 and uh, 2 and 2 let me see how it looks basically to make it tiling what i will do after the custom rotator i will multiply it with two now you can see the pattern. you can also rotate this if you want so you can actually add a little time on it if you want but i think this is this is it and these stars moving very fast so i will make the light uh, speed a little slow too much slow actually and let me see what else we can add let me compile you can also distort this radial which is distorting your texture so if i take like uh, um, blur noise and just adding a pan a little bit and now for the uvs of this radial which is distorting this i will add this by multiplying like 0.3 now you'll notice it will uh, distort that let it come see you can also do that instead of panning you can use rotator and i'll use the value that I really like it how it turned out, but it looks cool. 
and those edges you can also distort that so where are my edges this was my edges so you can also distort edges little bit so i will add the same noise which is this but multiplying it with a very low value and i will add it here and i will add multiply it like 0.2 there and 0.2 was too much so 0.1 i am using and see as it are on so, and looks cool so this is just to give you idea you can make a lot of thing with it i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye